Hey guys, Steve, KO4FL. Today I'm going to do a ham clock build and upgrade. Um, just how I like my ham clock. I've got it running over on my left hand side on a Dell 27 inch monitor on a Raspberry Pi 4. And the Raspberry Pi 4 is actually mounted to the back of the monitor. I'll take a picture of it and add it in here probably at the end. But what we're going to do, we're going to start out logged into the Raspberry Pi going to open up our terminal window and we're going to curl this Clear Sky Institute website and it's actually going to download and update. Okay, now that it's downloaded, we're going to come in and we're going to mod the actual install file with chmod u plus x on the install ham clock red, um, RPI directory and then you just want to go ahead and run that um, I've already got it installed so I'm not going to run it again because I don't want to overwrite what I've got but then one, once you go through you're going to answer a couple of questions and you can run ham clock ampersand and it's actually going to start up. I'm going to click on it and actually go through the setup. Um, you put in your call sign. I've actually got my Latin long and grid square. The grid square is not exactly right for my location according to my radio in the car, but it's close enough to count for me. Um, I do have the cluster set up in here already, and this is the DX cluster on port 7300. I'm not using it for rig control or the rotator control. I might look into setting that up later. Uh, might just be something fun to play with. Set the max min on the brightness. You can set your date order. I usually go by month, day, year. Weeks for me start on Sunday. And I actually like the top down scrolling feature that was added in version 3.05. Um, I'm not using it for log. I don't want it in demo mode. Bearings I want in true north. You can change the colors uh, for your short path, long path, satellites, and even your uh, bands that you want to watch on. And then I've got mine set up on a time delay so that it turns on at 09 UTC, turns off at 1900 UTC on the weekends and then at 07 UTC and off at 1900 during the week. And actually, I believe that's local time, not uh, UTC. And then we're back to page one. So we'll go ahead and hit done. It's going to run through and boot up here, finding the time server, making sure everything's working. And you can skip this feature if you want, but I like to have it actually pull that. See, now it's got the new version is available. Um, and in the new options, you can actually change the space weather. You can actually temporarily show the weather for the D new DX or for your local. Um, adds a RESTful command for a bitmap file. New DX, clu um, T DX cluster watch state. Maybe net, um, on, off, or only. Too many pages for the DX cluster commands and just a couple of fixes. Um, I'm not going to update right now, so I can show you how it updates. But when it actually loads up here, you see you've got the map, my location, um, the first pop on the DX cluster from two seconds ago. I do have my local weather and then the space weather. And if I click on this DX cluster, it actually shows me his weather and it should change here in just a second and show me um, the VOA cap on which would be the best band to work in. And give that just a minute. While that while I'm waiting on that, you can see the version 3.05 is in red. Yep, there's the VOA cap. Uh, 
but with that 305 in red, if I click on that, it gives us the option to update it. Now I've got the DX cluster here on the second window, and I keep the POTA cluster going on the rightmost window uh, where my weather pops in for my local weather. And then over on the left, you can see my local time, UTC minus 5. It does have the UTC time up here, and then the DX time based on where this little green dot is. Let's go ahead and click on the version 305 and do the update and see you know, what happens with this. Um, we'll dig into some of the changes here, and I'll be right back with you when this finishes. There we go. That's done. It's going back through. I'm going to actually meant to click skip on the setup there. We can see we're on version 3.06 now. And it's running through again, finding the best time protocol. There we go. Now we're up. We've got the POTA cluster. We've got the DX cluster. And I can actually clear the DX cluster with the little X that pops up. You can sort POTA by age, by band, by call, by ID. If you left click on it, you can actually pull up and change the weather. Um, if you want to add soda in here, I'll go ahead and remove my weather, remove POTA. Let's see if anybody's on soda right now. Yep, soda's got a few. Um, you can see the plus means it's older than probably 10 minutes on that spot. If I go back over here to POTA, these are all brand new spots. Um, and it shows you the park number, and it does show the five-digit parks, which is nice. doesn't show the mode of operation, so you've got to kind of know, based on the frequency, where they're operating. And you can see right now... Um, VOA cap does not look great for me. Let's see if I can grab this AA1SQ that's on 20 meter FT8. And I'd like to see his VOA cap info. But it's not looking like it's showing it for me. It used to. Okay, I'll have to figure that out. There. Cancel that. Yep, there we go. Okay, so 40 meters. Looking like it's probably going to be my best option. Um, 20 meters has some hit and miss spots. But if it shows red, it's probably not going to happen. Green is most likely will happen and yellow is there's a I think it's better than 30 percent chance that you can make that contact but fun little tool for me um, I like it because I was able to build it just off of a Raspberry Pi you can change the color of the background where your call sign is just by clicking on it um, I like the orange because it's not insanely bright and right or left click will change the color but yeah that is ham clock kind of in a nutshell um, we can look deeper into it if you want just let me know in the comments and don't forget to like comment subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one 73